Hey Scramblers, so welcome back to another Scrambler Tips. This week we are talking about radiators. Alright, so to be able to get to your radiator filler cap will need to remove the fuel tank. Good news is that it's actually super easy. Now, it's not actually normally this easy, but it's basically a 10 and an 11 mil spanner and get this bolt out. Right? Step one, PCK. Next, I actually use a, a little block of wood like this just to lift up my tank and I sit it up so that I can get clearance and access under here to the fuel line and remove that. So you'll see there's these two duvets here and they'll be plugged in like so actually yeah like that. What you want to do is you just lever off this little bit, pull the black bit out only. So you can almost do it if you've got awesome fingernails, which I don't. Move those cables away, and then you have this little shield. It'll be clicked in like this for the fuel cap. Pull that back, and then you prise off the fuel line. And then the last little bit will be up in here, there is a little fuel line that you'll just need to pull a hose clamp off. Once you've done that, and to be honest, if you get quick at it, it can be like 15 minutes, you can lift off the fuel tank. Piece of cake. And put that somewhere safe. You don't wanna leak fuel, it, it shouldn't leak fuel, the cable should be completely sealed, but either way I would just be careful and make sure you're not leaking fuel everywhere. So now we have the bike ready to access this. It's literally just twist it, push and twist until it comes off and that's it, right? Um, now you're coolant level should be up to this. Should try not to drip coolant anywhere either because it's super corrosive. So what I do generally when I'm messing around with this stuff is I have a rag handy and then I jam a rag in under that cap just so that I'm not gonna spill coolant everywhere. Um, now all you're gonna do is top it up and then you're good. Right, on to the important stuff. Now, Triumph recommend using a hybrid organic acid technology or HOT coolant. I have found the green coolant that I use, as long as it's got a hybrid OAT and also glycol based, I believe. It also has high nitrate, something like that. You can really go into a massive amount of detail. If you want to stick with Triumphs Recommended, use Triumphs Recommended. But if you don't, then you can use a number of different coolants. I know Penrite in Australia does a green coolant that you can use safely and it's just fine. So there's a link in the description below if you really want to get stuck into the nuts and guts of it. But basically 1.89 litres of a equivalent coolant to top your engine up with basically that's that's how much your coolant needs if you are flushing the entire system generally you'll just need little bits topped up here and there unless you have some sort of issue where the radiator fills up and boils over so in that case i'd just recommend doing an entire coolant flush where you'll basically use water to flush the entire system out and then replace the coolant with the equivalent that you just uh, took out of it. 
So basically from here what you're going to do is just get the radiator coolant and then top it up until the coolant sort of sits at the top there. And then you're just going to squeeze this bottom hose that's coming out of the bottom of the radiator very gently. What that's doing is pushing all the air bubbles to the surface and then sucking the coolant through the system. So you want to just keep doing that kind of rinse and repeat until the coolant level basically stays at the top of the filler neck there. Okay, so once you've done that, just make sure that you clean up any little drips of coolant that have spilled because it's really corrosive. So what you want to do is just, I use a bit of brake cleaner because it helps break that sort of stuff up. And then I just use my rag to give it a wipe and then you're done. Now, if your coolant is full, it should be fine. Your bike should not be overheating. If it, your bike is overheating and your coolant is full and it looks like your coolant is still good, so it's not like a weird milky color, that is a problem. So your bike shouldn't be overheating when it's full of coolant. So what you wanna do is actually get a proper mechanic to diagnose it or um, get one of your code scanners and, and find out what error is coming up with it. But you shouldn't be running the bike when it's overheating. That is a bad idea. So if it is overheating and you're out on a ride and you need to get home, just turn the bike off, um, do what I did and squirt some water all over your radiator and then just go until it you know, is starting to get hot again. Stop, put some water on it go stop you know that oh no stuff. they so don't actually you should be able to almost limp at home if you can get like over 60 k's an hour or so and get into like third gear because there should be enough wind passing through your motor to keep it naturally cool if you're revving it at higher revs it's gonna be hotter so make sure that you keep it at as low revs as possible uh, without damaging the bike uh, to be able to get it home so that wraps us up for Radiator this week. So if you learned something, please like and subscribe and uh, check out the next video. Uh, it'll be released in a week's time and we'll be covering, not telling, you're gonna come around and find out. So catch you next week.